In this picmonic, we will discuss labyrinthitis, vestibular neuritis, with the story of the vest bull as it clutches a nerve on fire and rampages through a labyrinth on fire. We begin with the primary cause of labyrinthitis, vestibular neuritis, inner ear infections, depicted with the inner city ear infectious bacteria. These infections may be viral or bacterial and can cause inflammation of the membranous labyrinth of the inner ear or directly inflame the vestibular nerve. The resulting inflammation can cause patients to display postural and gait instability, represented by the posture and gait on unstable ground. Patients may also report that they feel the room is spinning during head motion, which is a sign of vertigo, represented by the vertigo vortex. Another common symptom of labyrinthitis vestibular neuritis is nystagmus, represented by nostradamus, which is an involuntary movement of the eyes. Due to a combination of vertigo and dizziness, characterized by the dizzy eyes, Patients with labyrinthitis or vestibular neuritis have an increased fall risk, represented by the up arrow fall risk. The last of the signs and symptoms are nausea and vomiting, symbolized by vomiting, which may be caused by some of the aforementioned symptoms, such as dizziness or vertigo. Treatment for labyrinthitis, vestibular neuritis, may require medications, symbolized by the med bottle. These medications often involve antibiotics or antivirals, depending on the root cause, and may also involve vestibular suppressants to reduce symptoms such as vertigo and dizziness. During physical therapy, patients may participate in vestibular ocular reflex exercises to help improve coordination between the eyes and head during movement, represented by the vest, bowl, eye, reflex hammer. In addition, physical therapists may incorporate postural control and balance training and gait training, represented by the posture controller and balance beam training wheels and gait training wheels, respectively. These treatments aim to help patients achieve better posture, reduce symptoms, and prevent falling when participating in functional activities such as walking. In some cases, habituation exercises, symbolized by the habitat creation exercise machine, may be utilized to help patients adapt to the symptoms associated with labyrinthitis, vestibular neuritis. Habituation exercises may include maneuvers such as the Epley, Brandt Daroff, and Dix Hallpike maneuvers, which can, in some cases, drastically reduce reported symptoms from labyrinthitis vestibular neuritis. In summary, labyrinthitis vestibular neuritis are both caused by inner ear infections that can cause postural and gait instabilities, vertigo, nystagmus, increased fall risk, dizziness, and nausea and vomiting. Treatment of labyrinthitis vestibular neuritis may involve medication to address ear infections or suppress the vestibular system. Vestibulo-ocular reflex exercises, postural control, and balance training gait training, and habituation exercises may also be used to reduce symptoms of labyrinthitis vestibular neuritis. Deep in the heart of a labyrinth on fire, a vest bull clutches a nerve on fire as he flies into an unstoppable rage. He tears through the maze, leaving a path of destruction in his wake as an inner-city ear infectious bacteria drives him mad from within. His rampage leaves both his posture and the labyrinth's gait incredibly unstable. He rips open a vertigo vortex, summoning Nostradamus, who babbles befuddling prophecies. The Vestbull's quaking footsteps have opened a chasm in the earth, which is a major up-arrow fall risk. Previous victims still lie in the pit, dizzy eyes spinning in their heads from the fall. They're trapped there, vomiting, for eternity. For the rest of the story, check out Picmonic.com and sign up for a free account. There, you can also take Picmonic's quiz. The quiz automatically sets up your daily quiz by using spaced repetition algorithms based on questions you've missed or struggled with to make sure you study what you need when you need to. And while you're there... Check out the rest of our Ear Disorders Picmonics. We've got all the content you'll need to remember. Everything from Otitis Media Assessment, Otitis Media Interventions, Meniere's Disease, Labyrinthitis Vestibular Neuritis, and so much more, so you can lock down on everything you need to know forever. Play, quiz, and spaced repetition. Efficient, effective, and research-proven to increase exam scores.